So are you ready for the 10 questions I prepared? I um, I think uh, no one can do can be prepared for that. But yeah, that, that's, that's correct. Good. This is like a, it was like a standard question. <laughs> anyway, let's start with uh, with question number one, which is uh, what are you most proud of? Most proud of my daughter. Nice. I love it. Question number two, um, simulation you are most proud of. Um, the GeForce NVIDIA investigation I made last year. This was good, yeah. I have to check. Did you have a, do you have a video on your channel? I have whole? a video on that. I have to of check the, it out. Of the, of the, just, just a simulation. So I'm just proud of that because I, you know, I, I disassembled the, the card and I made everything by myself. So it's, it's a nice thing, yes. Yeah. And uh, also before we jump to the next question, uh, because I'm too interested in this, NVIDIA didn't get back to you, right? Um, when it's oh, no, no, no one get back to me. Yeah, Even was... Asus, uh, I, I asked them. So actually, it's Asus card, so not Nvidia. Ah, okay, yeah. but, but Asus, Asus was not uh, interested in that. Mm -hmm. Of course, it was an old card, 1070. But in any case, yeah. Um, just, just one, one, one quick remark because um, this, the, the fans of these graphic cards. I'm always impressed because when when they are really, sp if your graphic card is on, on on full load and they are spinning extremely fast, if you always if I put my hand underneath these fans, I have the feeling they are not pushing the, the air in. They get like, you know, pushing the the air out. So vice versa. And of course, this is based on too much back pressure, and that that's why I I'm not. I, I don't know why they have this one millimeter distance between these fins. I don't know. Maybe someone introduced this somewhere and it's like, you know, common practice to do that. Um, but maybe it would be better to, to make these fins distance two millimeters that the, the airflow can go through better to get less back pressure. I don't know. You have to investigate into that. I, I was just thinking about that. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I did a, a webinar, electronic schooling, maybe you remember that, uh, where it exactly goes to this point. And actually, NVIDIA has um, a whole neural network framework. It's I'm not sure how it's called. I forgot the name. Uh, SimNet. It's called SimNet. And they did okay. exactly this. They trained the neural network and changed the form of the pins. And after mm -hmm. a lot of hours of training, they had the optimal pin form so that the flow could flow through. I can send you the link and maybe put it in the description for everyone interested. You can actually see how the pins transform and that how the flow uh, behaves better. Anyway. Ah, okay. This yeah. is awesome. I have to send it to you. I send it to you already yeah. after the podcast. Um, right. Question number three, you win $1 million. What do you do first? Um, $1 million, I would just su support open foam. I would just donate, I, am, I think, 100,000, just because you know, it's open source and it is a, a crazy toolbox. It's free for everybody. And in my opinion, each company who is using that should, should just give a little bit of, of, of give something back. Yeah. Yeah. Makes so this would, be the first, this would be the first um, I would do. <laughs> awesome. I love it. Question number four. If you could spend one day with a celebrity, who would it be? <laughs> Can be dead or alive. Doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, yes, suck. Yes, sir. You have Earth, to explain. Yes, you have to explain who it is. Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Earth, Earth, yes, sir. He is the guy who introduced open form with Henry Weller. He's the guy from where? Where is he from? From, come on. Um, he is he is the guru in open form. Um, I he, swear, he, I forgot he, his name. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yes, sir. It's his PhD thesis is you know the basic of open form. I swear, Earth, yes, I, heard, I heard this name, you said Yasak, I was like, I know this name somewhere, but I had to ask, I wasn't sure. But yeah, yes. um, cool. It would be, it, it is this extreme tall guy, you know? Did <laughs> and, you meet him um, in person? No, unfortunately not. Okay. I met the guys from Open Foam Foundation, Henry Weller and uh, his team, but Yasak, not now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Now I know who Yasak is, thanks to me. Um, yes. Next question, a uh, video from your channel you enjoyed filming the most. Was it the graphics card video? I, I mean, it's not filming, um, it's more like editing, right? Um, no, um, it's the upcoming video I, I'm going to do. Okay. So it's, um, yes, the, because 
Uh, I made a Blender Sing yesterday, and I want to include something new within my videos. And I think the next video I make is the one I really enjoy most. Awesome. Yeah, we're looking forward to that. Um, yes. Favorite programming language? C++. Obviously. <laughs> yes, we could. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's obvious. Favorite movie? Um, no, no movie. Um, Quentin Tarantino movies. Okay, yeah, that's good. Love it. Uh, favorite YouTuber? <laughs> favorite, favorite YouTuber? That's a good question, man. Um, I like uh, Joseph Nagy's YouTube uh, <laughs> channel. I, I would, uh, yeah, I would have told that you would say this. Yes. Um, next question: One superpower you would like to have? Superpower. I I don't want to have a superpower because uh, then things get not as interested as they are right now. Yeah. And if if I had one, I. <laughs> Sorry, I was not prepared for this question. Superpower. Yes, um, yes. Now I have one. Um, doubling my myself so that I have three or four Tobys working on different projects and supporting the people. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, this is good. Yeah, I never had that answer so far in the podcast. This is a good one. Yes, yeah, good. Uh, there's too much to do actually. Yes. Yeah. If you were a superhero, what would your name be? Shorty. Shorty. <laughs> Shorty, yes. This is this is my nickname. All my friends name me Shorty. Shorty, where does it come from? Is it like because you're not that tall or <laughs> No, it has a funny story. I was skating once when I was young, was fourteen, and um everybody uh, on my neighborhood had a, a nickname or just I don't had one. Everybody was telling me Toby. And then I was making a jump over two decks and it failed. And then there was like the deck, vice versa, on myself. And you know, there's a brand name called Shorties. Ah, and then a okay. guy said, hey, we name you Shorty now. <laughs> okay, got it, got it. Yeah, these were the 10 questions, uh, Toby. I appreciate you answering them, all, all of them. Uh, very interesting answers. Mm. Is that